Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today we're going to talk about Brain Dance and what it actually is. I've been getting requests for this video since we had those news about combat in cyberspace which was later proved as a mistranslation by Philip Weber, a CD request designer currently working on the game. Keep in mind, avatars do appear in Cyberpunk 2020 in the net when you use the programs, but we still have to wait for the official news that if it's going to actually and in what extent it's going to be in the game. Only that, because it seems that everything else we talked about is fine. That's why I said I couldn't verify it. Now there is something else which is similar to net running, but you don't really go in the net. But you can still experience memories from others, various scenarios that will make you fulfill all of your fantasies and dreams. The tech is called Brain Dance. Now imagine Brain Dance as VR but on a whole new level, which has all of your senses inside of that dream, in a sense. That's basically what the dream VR experience would be, and that's something that some companies are trying to do, but right now we don't have that tech, because it includes full and total immersion. And people buy various brain dances for a lot of things, fantasies, reliving memories from famous people, or generally role-playing in a sense because poverty and general hunger for wealth and power made the bottom layer of the society go into these brain dances to just escape it, to escape reality. You can do various things throughout that besides, you know, the fantasies, you can play a game, watch a film, or even do something really bad inside your fantasy, as it has good sides, it also has its twisted and bad and dark sides. And we've seen a lot of brain dance commercials in Night City and it is present in 2077. Even on the streets, you know, sketchy brain dances do appear in the black market. They are highly unregulated and there are all kinds of atrocities that can happen inside of that brain dance because those situations are staged to give you a false sense of realism. So as it is with everything, you have a lot of poor people in Night City being addicted to a brain dance because in a sense it stimulates the brain in the right way, the way you want it. Just by reliving a day in a life of a rich person or an elite in Night City can be addicting, especially for people who don't have anything. Brain dance is also used to treat people who went under cyber psychosis by, you know, putting way too many um, augmentations inside of themselves and basically losing humanity. By offering a brain dance, they can actually calm down and put them into situations that can be peaceful and basically reprogram the person to stop attacking everyone around them and restore their humanity. And if you remember a long time ago when Cyberpunk 2077 was announced, CDPR did mention that there might be something connected to brain dance, which is becoming a huge problem and there is something much more sinister behind it. Now a lot of time has passed from then so that might be changed, we still don't know to what extent we could have brain dance in the game. One thing I would love to see, but it's kind of a stretch, is to relive the memories from Johnny Silverhand let's say, which is possible if there is that sort of brain dance in the game. So what the game could offer, again, is a chance to learn about the past, maybe go storm the Arasaka Tower during the Fourth Corporate War. That's a brain dance, to give you that false sense of realism, but if that is going to be the case, it's going to be amazing, but again, nothing has been confirmed. I mean, it's not the real world, so all the same rules like in the nets apply here, that there are no rules. In Cyberpunk 2020, I believe you needed a black box to go into Braindance, so that might be the same here, or maybe they advanced their technology, so now it's much more easier to do it. So, something which started with a good intention ultimately got the dark side with it. So be careful what Braindance you take, if it's present in the game in that way, because as you can experience amazing stuff, there can also be sinister scenarios that might drive you insane. 
But again, that's all we know so far about Braindance, especially in 2077. Subscribe for more Cyberpunk 2077 lore news guide videos and become a part of our growing community on Twitter and Discord. I also made a Patreon page if you were looking for an extra way to support the channel, check it out. And huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for watching, this is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone. Bye bye.